Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. Now, right off the bat, I want to apologize for being late with my videos. In case you're not aware, I've been making some changes as you can kind of tell. Uh, on top of the fact that I was focusing yesterday a lot on trying to upload some videos to my second YouTube channel. If you don't know about it, I would highly appreciate it if you can go ahead and check it out. Maybe leave a subscribe or a comment or whatever. Any support that you guys are able to give me is honestly truly appreciated. And it's it's a free way to help support me. You don't have to be a patron or anything either. So if you can go ahead and check out my second channel, I would truly appreciate it. But aside from that, last thing to note as well, I am planning to make a video, uh, hopefully right after this one, talking about the new copy medals that we just received in the game, because I have quite a few things I need to say about that. A little bit different from the standard, oh, they're copy medals, go for them type of thing. Um, there's some stipulations that I kind of want to like go over with you guys, just to make sure you have thorough details about it. But don't worry, I'm making that video. Um, I'm just kind of swamped with the amount of work I have to make at the moment. But at the very least, let's go over the new Xemnas Plus medal that we currently received in the JP version of the game, which is also going to be coming to us uh, later tonight, which I'll also be live streaming here on the channel as well here on YouTube. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. So like always, we're going to go over the details of the medal. But Xemnas Plus is a magic reverse metal, tier 8, costs 7 gauges, is AoE, does 8 hits, has a 7 star multiplier of 31.98, and for one turn, it provides, and this is at the 7 star version I should add, it provides plus 3 reverse strength buffs, minus 15 general defense debuffs, minus 15 reverse defense debuffs, and it's worth noting that the debuffs themselves are overwrite. Which is worth noting because that would also mean that Xemnas Plus is going to be the very first medal in the game as of right now that has overwrite at max debuffs. Granted, he doesn't provide any magic buffs or debuffs, but I'll get into that in a second. But last but not least, uh, he also resets enemy counters, which is a nice bonus. Overall, I would say that Xemnas Plus is a really good medal. Like, absolutely fantastic. Granted, the 7 star multiplier is kind of shit. <laughs> But at the very least, his ability is just so good that I will tell you right now that there should be no reason why you should not get this medal, okay? Especially considering the fact that the uh, 5,000 jewel uh, avatar board for the medal is going to be making a return, or at least it's supposed to be making a return, because it did in JP. You're going to very easily be getting at least like, what, maybe half the jewels just from the event itself, maybe anywhere from two to 3,000 more or less and if you're a veteran player like myself you can very possibly beat the whole thing and get the entire 5000 in which case the avatar the metal board itself is completely free then you get the metal for free just fantastic the metal is very good though for a couple of reasons the resets counters is decent but of course can also be kind of like a detriment it just kind of depends on where you put it in your setup compared to the other metals you use it's one of those things that like it has its pros and cons that kind of cancel each other out uh, and it's just kind of like a neutral ability. It, it can be good or bad, it just depends on how you use it. So it's not really a bonus. But the overwrite, on top of the minus 15 general defense debuff, those, that right there is probably the most important aspect of Xemnas Plus. Now, it is worth noting as well that the minus 15 reverse debuff is also just as good. Because as of right now, we do not have a single medal in the entire game that completely debuffs reverse uh, for at least an entire turn. Larkseen does a large amount of debuffs and buffs as well. However, she only does it for two attacks, so she doesn't really count. But Xemnas over here actually completely does it for the entire turn, which is absolutely bonkers and crucial to note because of the fact that that does mean that Xemnas is pretty much going to be used as a main debuffer metal. And even though his multiplier is pretty bad for a 7 star metal, um, that's irrelevant just because you're going to mainly be using him for his debuffs. Um, because now at the very least, even if you do not have, say, a Supernova Shion or even a Supernova Kairi, for instance, you can now reasonably get most of your debuffs, or at least the most important debuffs, 
just through Xemnas Plus himself, along with a lot of other uh, major buffer medals, such as like even the even the original uh, Carrier Shion EX medals, for example. Uh, because the only things you're going to be missing when you use Xemnas Plus at this point are going to be your attribute debuffs, such as like magic, for example, um, your general strength buffs, uh, attribute buffs, and the upright or reverse buffs as well. Okay. Those are the only things you're going to be missing. And if you happen to be using both a Kairi Shion EX Plus alongside a normal Kairi or Shion EX medal, uh, alongside Xemnas Plus, that should not be an issue, especially for all of you casual or intermediate players out there. In a way, you could even argue that because of the fact that Xemnas Plus pro actually provides uh, minus 15 general defense debuffs, just that alone can arguably be said is better than metals like, in terms of abilities, I should add, uh, in terms of abilities, is better than metals such as like Supernova Sephiroth, uh, Supernova Riku Replica. It's even better than the newest uh, BBS trio metals that we just got recently as well. And it's quite literally just because of the fact that this guy actually provides the, those general defense debuffs. Um, I've said it multiple times on the channel, but when it comes to buffs and debuffs, the first buffs and debuffs that you should provide in your setup before anything else should be your general strength buffs as well as your general defense debuffs. Okay, these are the first two things before anything else that you should uh, provide in your setup, mainly because of the fact that they provide, they have the biggest impact compared to any other buff or debuff. And it's because of this that whenever I see medals that have either one of these two, many, mainly general defense debuffs because there's not nearly as many decent general defense debuffer medals compared to there are general strength buffer medals. Uh, whenever I see medals such as Xemnas Plus, for example, that actually have that, it's an automatic red flag like, holy crap, this is a really good medal. Okay, the overwrite is a nice touch, kind of unnecessary, but is nice nonetheless. Uh, now, in terms of the actual banner itself, uh, the banner itself is actually, you know, fairly standard. It's falling. It's going to be falling price. We know this. It's always falling price for us in global. It's not falling price in JP, but it's always been falling price for us. Um, and it's always been a five pull mercy for us as well. So honestly, I'm not really expecting anything too different for the global side of things. Um, I'm still expecting the same type of tier seven, seven star medals that you can get in every pull uh, from the organization 13 banner. So whether or not you should actually pull for the medal, I would say yes, <laughs> the medal is actually really good. Okay, however, instead of pulling from the banner, I would recommend going for the avatar board instead. Just like with how it was last month, the avatar board just provides way more value. Not only does it actually provide the metal already itself, um, along with actual more copies of the trait metals too, uh, but it actually comes with a few extra like attack skills and stuff too, which is which, which, which is honestly pretty nice. I'm not complaining. Um, that's more than what I would bargain for. Uh, in a in one of the banner pulls, for example, on top of the fact that it's actually reasonably priced at 5,000 jewels, considering the fact that you can actually get at least like half of those jewels just from doing the event itself. Um, so worst case scenario, you would only actually have to pay out of your own pocket like 2,000 jewels, two three thousand jewels or something. That assuming you can't complete the entire event. So overall, when you compare the amount of actual value that you are getting, not only from the uh, deal itself, but also with how good the metal actually is, I definitely do think it's worth obtaining your copy of Xemnas Plus, as well as the fact that I also do think that Xemnas Plus is going to be a really good metal, uh, mainly for debuffing though. And that is especially relevant if you only have, say, like a Supernova Kyrie, uh, for example. You don't have Supernova Shion yet, so you really need more of those medals that provide the reverse debuffs. And so in the situations like that, especially on Keyblades like Fairy Star, for example, which have a really nice second slot being in uh, a Magic Reverse, which is what Xemnas Plus is, as well as the fact that you can even do a full reverse setup on Fairy Stars if you really wanted to, Xemnas Plus is a pretty damn good metal so i highly recommend getting it if you can but other than that that was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the episode 
Feel free to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down in the comments section down below. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.